Join us on Patreon to support our channel and the work we do to help people, animals and the planet. You'll get rewards like ebooks, one-on-one -on -one Skype calls and online coaching discounts. Hi guys, so we wanted to make a video uh, basically responding to a lot of comments that we've been receiving about our previous videos on how many calories to eat. We wanted to clarify a few things because we have been accused of encouraging calorie restriction and I think people have very much misinterpreted what we said and I think also that a lot of people only hear what they want to hear. So here we go. So the purpose of that last video was to address two separate groups. The first group are those that have an eating disorder and are eating less than 2000 calories a day, which is the minimum number of calories required by the moderately active femur. And the second group of people are those women in particular that are eating three, four, five thousand calories and complaining that they're gaining weight. So that's who this video was for. Now, if you are happy eating the way you are and you're getting the results that you want, then that's fine. Keep doing what you're doing. We're not saying that if you're a woman that's eating 3,000 calories that you need to scale back down to two and a half. Absolutely not. That was not our intention. If you're eating 3,000 plus calories as a woman, you're getting the results that you want, you're happy with everything that's going on in your body and, and whatever, your fitness, Great, eat as much as you want, as much as you care for. Never, ever have we encouraged calorie restriction. Having said that, let's put our common sense hats on. And if you're eating three, four, five thousand calories, you're a five foot sedentary woman and you're wondering why you're gaining weight, have a think about it. Maybe you're eating too much. Is it possible to eat too much? Of course, it's possible to eat too much of anything. We only need, calories are energy. We only eat, need a certain amount of energy. The more we eat, the more energy we have and the more we can do, to a point. I say to a point because if you're not using that energy, then what are you eating it for? You know, if you're going to use the energy, awesome. If you're gonna get on your bike and you're gonna go ride a couple of hundred kilometers and up mountains, awesome. If you're not gonna do that and you're gonna sit in your office job and you're five foot, don't eat 6,000 calories. It's quite simple. I mean, I think a lot of people like to watch YouTubers, hear what they have to say and just kind of pick at it and you know, oh, I know you said this and you said that. They're not using common sense and logic, okay? Now the other thing is, um, going back to group one, the, the people who are struggling to even eat the minimum of 2,000 calories. We have people that think eating 2,000 calories is smashing in the carbs. Okay, because compared to their 800 calorie diet or 1200 or 15 or even 1600 calorie diet, 2000 is a lot. But we wanted to stress in that video that that is the minimum to be a healthy adult. You have to eat that much food. It's just how much energy we require to function, to keep our bodies alive and to be active to, in order to get fit and therefore healthy. Now we encourage people to eat more than 2000 calories, of course. We, that's why we said it was the minimum, the <laughs> yes. minimum. So if you want to be active, if you want to have that energy to get fit, you have to eat more than 2000, right? What we're saying is, if you get to say 2,300 calories as a woman, and you have all the energy you need, you're able to do everything, you're getting the results you want, and you're completely sati satiated. Without stimulants. And you're not feeling like you're craving other stuff, other fatty food, other animal foods, then if that's good enough for you, do it. We're saying that you don't have to force feed yourself to the point of being absolutely nauseous and sick. Which we were very clear about in that video, might I say. Yeah, so that's not restriction. That's you're getting the minimum, you're eating more than the minimum to do what you need to do. You're happy with the results, fine. If also, conversely, you're eating three and a half thousand calories as a six foot active woman yeah. and you've got your health and fitness and weight goals down pat and it's working for you, Eat it. Do awesome. It. Great. Kudos to you because you're going to be doing more. You're going to be more active. Fantastic. So do we encourage people to count calories? Yes. To make sure that you're eating enough. You're not counting calories to limit them. You're counting them to make sure you're getting enough on this lifestyle. So when someone comes to this high carb, low fat, vegan lifestyle, you need to count calories because you don't know how to eat plant foods in abundance. Because we've all had an eating disorder if we've been eating meat, dairy and eggs our whole lives. That's our unnatural diet. If someone eats their unnatural diet, that's an eating disorder. So when we come to the high carb, low fat, vegan lifestyle and you're eating whole plant foods, 
you haven't been eating just exclusively whole plant foods your whole life. They have a different feeling and impact in the stomach and the body, so you have to get used to that. Yes, so once you've worked out how to actually eat a sufficient number of calories of whole plant foods, then you can stop counting calories. Then you just know, I mean, we eat basically the same amounts every day, unless we're doing something super you know, energy requiring and we need to eat more, or if we're sick and we're not doing anything and we need to eat less. But you know, generally it's the same amount of food. So yes, you need to count your calories to make sure you're getting enough initially. Now, unlimited carbohydrates. Oh, Jesus, okay, so the is... whole point of the whole unlimited carbohydrates message is quite simple. In the health and fitness industry, there's carbophobia. Everyone's promoting high protein, high fat from animals and low carbohydrates because carbs are bad, carbs make you fat, blah, 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 bullshit. <laughs> That's why this movement promotes unlimited carbohydrate calories, meaning you don't have to restrict your carbohydrate intake to only 10 grams of carbohydrates a day, otherwise you're gonna get fat. No, eat as many carbohydrate calories as you care for. This diet sort of revolves around an 80-10-10 ratio or a 95-5 ratio, meaning the predominant amount of calories are coming from carbohydrates relative to fat and protein. So once you're comfortable eating a certain amount of calories every day to get the results that you're happy with, those calories can be made up of as much carbohydrates as you care for. That's what unlimited carbohydrate calories means. It doesn't, it doesn't mean, mean eat 10,000 <laughs> calories, 80% of which come from carbs, so that's 8,000 calories, and you, know, you won't stupid. gain weight. That's stupid. That's being really silly. Stop taking things literally and start thinking logically. I can say, as a five foot mid 30 year old woman, I can technically sit here and eat 10,000 calories in a day. You'll probably throw I can do up. It. I will throw up, I will be sick, but I can technically do it. That is unlimited carb, unlimited carb calories, but it's also been just bloody stupid, all right? So start thinking about what you're doing, be logical and stop taking things to an extremely complicated God knows what. And finally, smoothies. If you want to eat smoothies, if they feel good for you, if they digest well, if they are helping you get the results that you desire, then drink the smoothies. We started with smoothies, we stopped them because they didn't digest well, we didn't feel good. We prefer to eat that fruit in its whole form. That's what works for us. When a woman says, oh, I can have 3,000 plus calories, three and a half thousand calories, no problem, and you know, but I'm still gaining weight, we say, how are you getting those calories into your mouth? And if a lot of them are coming from big, big fruit smoothies, maybe instead try to only put the amount of fruit into that smoothie that you could eat in its whole form and no more, because it is so much easier to eat more fruit in a processed blended state and sort of drink it more than eating the whole fruit. Mm. So you're gonna get in more calories by default by blending it. Now, the body digests and processes that blended fruit smoothie differently. It registers those calories differently. We're only making suggestions based on what's worked for us, okay? Now, if you've got an eating disorder, for example, and you're only yes. eating 1,500 calories a day, and a fruit smoothie, a big fruit smoothie, is gonna help you get to the minimum that everyone recommends, 2,000, then <laughs> drink yes, that drink fruit smoothie. smoothie. Awesome. On the other end of the scale, if you're an athlete and you need five, 6,000 calories for your energy requirements and the only way you're gonna get there is with a big fruit smoothie, smash it in, go for it. If you're in between, have a think about what are you doing and what are the results that you're getting and what are the results that you want. If those three don't marry up, just an idea. You might wanna reassess. You might wanna try something different and what we're suggesting is Try eating the fruit in its whole form instead of blending and see if that makes a difference. Or just blend the amount of fruit that you could eat in its whole form and no more. So we're not saying that women have to limit themselves to two and a half thousand calories. It's going to be too much for some women and it's gonna be not enough for other women. That just seems to be a number that's kind of in the middle that works for a lot of people. It works for me. It seems to get a lot of good results, but you have to see what works for you. Just make sure you're eating at least 2000 calories. And just to clarify, we're speaking very generally here about the average person. 
We're not speaking about those who have had their thyroid removed and their metabolism is impaired, or if they've had a gastric bypass, or if they've got a heart condition or a degenerative muscle condition, or they're in a wheelchair and their you know, physical ability is very limited. Sorry, we can't address everybody. We're talking about the average person in general. So if you fall into that category, then the minimum 2000 calorie recommendation is probably not gonna to apply to you. And if you're following us on Snapchat, you'll see every day that we're showing the food that we eat, the quantities that we eat. So we're encouraging people to eat in abundance. Never ever do we restrict, never ever have we said to restrict. So we're leading by our example of what we do and what works for us, okay? So we hope that this has clarified all of those little things that have come up based on our previous video. We're impassioned because this is an important topic and we like to try to be as clear as possible in our communication and not have our words misconstrued or twisted. And we have actually added a few notes to the previous video just because sometimes things don't come out 100% accurately when you're recording videos. So we have put two notes in the previous video to clarify two points, but hopefully this video goes even deeper and answers all of those questions. Like, dislike, share and subscribe, and we'll see you next video, guys. Bye for now. Bye. And we just keep saying, look, consistency is what gets results. This has been the best thing that we can share with people.